Okay, we're back with how to train your bulldog to get a Kleenex. If you said, is that popular? No. In fact, I'm going to tag Kimberly in. She may want to teach her bulldog how to get a Kleenex. Anyway, so it is important just to think of it as, oh, he's ready to go, too. Oh, I had to get the puppy in rubber. Uh, oh, he's going to play the piano, too, Kimberly Ann. Yeah, oh, piano, too. Piano, too. So, get some down on the Kleenex here. So, I do think it's a good idea to look for these heavy duty or Kleenexes. Get this out of the way. I do think you should. Oh, don't you dare smashing. Oh, no, smashing. Oh, no. Don't, I don't have my treats. Oh, my effing God. Hang on. Uh, I do remember I did try this with him one time before. Oh, hi, Lorenzo. I tried this with him one time before with the regular Kleenexes, and they weren't heavy-duty enough for a bulldog. So the art of training bulldogs requires a heavy-duty of Kleenex. If you said, well, the people that have these type of dogs tend to need a heavier Kleenex. <laughs> okay, here, here, come on. Let's do a translation one. I'll give you pause. I'll pause. I'm not good about pausing. I'll pause and let you. Oh, you can't come on. Uh, all right, well, if you can, we'll do it later. I want to do as many. If you said, I thought about it, Lorenzo. The only, I said, where's the other videos? Where's the other videos with this kid, Ricky? He was here for a week. He's supposed to come for two weeks. And then he gets here and says, oh, I can only stay for a week. If you said he had that plan from the beginning, yes. <laughs> and he, if you said, what was the reasoning? Oh, his cousin died. If you said he has like 40 cousins, yeah. I just said, whatever. I just, it just was, you know, I said, you know, this is this. If I start getting a feeling at all that something's kind of shady, it's like, you know, this kid led me to believe he was coming for two weeks. And if you said, what did you say when he left? I said, you're ill prepared to go out in the world and train dogs, but eh, so are the rest of those people. So what the hell? So that's what I said. You're real prepared, but so are they. So what the hell? <laughs> so if you said, what does he need to see? I do think they need to see an example. Pop. 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 This is sort of what happened last time. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to use it for a piano. <laughs> He's trying to stomp on it like it's a platform. Hang on. He's not getting your example. He's not. All right. So if you said, what can you do? Make the Kleenex itself the object. So get rid of the box. 
I need my bucket. This pocket isn't that big. You said then now what? Now take this. Oh! <laughs> He did it, Kimberly Ann, he did it. He said, it wouldn't just be easier to get it yourself. Well, of course it would, but. He dances and does it. That's what I give him. Absolutely perfect. Uh oh, big messes. Big messes. No time to clean up myself. I need a helper. I need a helper. No time to clean up messes. What's he giving the shake off? Oh, who knows? Me, probably. Oh, I can get him to put it in a little trash can. Okay, let's try it one more time. He's beyond cute. He even gets the tiniest bit of trash. Oh, no, whoops. Oh, oh my gosh, money. Money, let me get it out of your mouth, money. Oh, hang on, money, hang on. Oh, money. Oh. I got it, money. You get a reward for that, money. You said that's one of the pitfalls. Sure, their mouth is a little slimy. Another one pops right up. He's so helpful. He thinks everything's a platform, though. All right, so if you said, what about this piano playing crap? Oh, my God, he plays piano, too. I don't know if you know about that. Oh, hi, Laura. Yeah, you need to get Lena playing the piano, too. Yeah, you need to have a, a little bit broader cu curriculum there, Laura. We need to have the arts included in Luna's training. <laughs> Laura's like, oh, I didn't know there was such a thing. Well, now you do. All right, so what? So. Oh! <laughs> He's so helpful. All right, if you said, what should you do to warm up? Because I haven't done this. Whoops. Oh, crap. I'll show you. I should put this there first. Oh, be careful. <laughs> so if you said that's his piano drills. Yeah, this is piano drills. Just watch this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, Lorenzo, that's... Don't you understand, Lorenzo? This is why you gravitated towards this training. Your background in performing arts, you were able to see the subtleties. The, you saw the musical animals. You said, this is for me. <laughs> you saw these other trainers. They didn't have any musical animals. 
Not like this, girl. All right, we gotta just do one quick sew on because it's getting overheated. All right, so now we just get rid of this and we replace it with this. He's the sweetest ever. Lorenzo, this would be a good possible viral video. If you say, what do we have to make sure? Oh, make sure they know it does it because it loves music, not for food. <laughs> not for food. Come on. You got to say, if I'm not getting a heart, whoever doesn't heart this, you're gone. You're gone. Lorenzo doesn't quite have the credo yet, uh, Laura, that he's supposed to heart everything. Not his critique is mm, like or love. No, there's no like or love. It's love at all. Because if you said, what's my response? If I have to get rid of someone, I say to myself, well, they didn't really love my work. They only liked it. And it's better that they go out in the world and find someone they love. <laughs> Danya, are you loving it? Yeah, you need to tell Jewel, get on this. This dog needs to have a broad curriculum. Yes, we got the little drills, the, you know, the athletic drills, the this, the that. But we also need music in our life. If you said the dog, yes, the dog needs music. If you said what? The baby shark song. <laughs> Said that's not music. You're sick in the head if you're saying that's not music. If you're trying to claim that that's not a cover of Goo Goo Dolls Iris, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> oh, hey, girl, his piano playing is unbelievable. Listen, I've got this intern coming. If you said, what's my plan? To shoot a viral a video of a bulldog playing a piano. If you said a real bulldog, no, Angus playing a bulldog that loves music. Performing arts bulldog. All right, one more quick tap out for, for Kim. I, I don't think I have to tell anybody what kind of talent this thing has. Come on. Kimberly Ann knows. Yeah, in fact, I don't know if you know this girl, but I know Billy Sorrentino. I think he's a friend of your husband's. Yeah, I've got a few videos of him from back in the day, back when he was like in his early 20s. He used to work with his friend that had a um, car detail business. If you said, were they pretty good at detailing? I don't remember them being that good at the detailing. <laughs> he said, what do you remember? No, oh, they were little chatty Cathy's. Anyway, all right, <laughs> I gotta get him inside. Yeah, Kimberly Ann spotted it right away. She started singing along after the first two taps. Anyway, girl, that's my plan, to rehearse this a little bit and then make it as though a bulldog was walking along and found a piano. Yeah, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Oh, a bulldog was getting on the subway and it spotted a piano and started playing. Am I wrong? You don't think that's good? If you said, I wouldn't click. Oh, girl, you know you would. If you went online the first thing in the morning and you saw a viral video that said, oh, look, adorable bulldog plays a piano. Who's not going to click on that? <laughs> Am I wrong? I would. I'd say bulldog playing a piano. What the hell is this? Where's this? Where's, where's this damn video? And then when I saw it, I go, oh, my God. This thing is some sort of musical prodigy. Who would have known? Look at him. Sure, he's built like John Belushi, but uh, he can play like Beethoven. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. 